Hi, everyone. Danielle and Matt Noyce here. Thanks for making the One Degree Outside Weather Network part of your daily routine, storms or sunshine. If you enjoy these videos, we invite you to become a member at patreon.com slash one degree outside. Support our mission of continuing to bring accurate weather forecasts and science insights to one and all. This One Degree Outside video is brought to you by CrackX Foundation Crack Repair and Waterproofing. 40 years of prompt and economical service to New England homeowners, builders, general contractors, home inspectors, management companies, architects, and engineers. Be sure to visit crackx.com and mention One Degree Outside when you make your appointment for an incredible discount. Well, it's a Wednesday, so that means this Insights video goes through the weekend in detail, and there is plenty to talk about. So let's dive in. Here's what I'm going to cover. Nice March day for our Thursday overall. Cold front comes in tomorrow night, though, and that sparks a couple of showers. Snow and rain showers. I'll talk about the timing of that and where there may be some minimal impact. Messy weekend weather. Yeah, both Saturday and Sunday. Mother Nature's not messing around for this last full weekend of March here. A pretty complex system is going to be moving towards us, and that will mean areas of rain, Yes, areas of snow that will accumulate, some pockets of sleet and freezing rain in between, depending on where you are, but they are all likely both on Saturday and Sunday, not the entire period, but we'll talk about that in a second. And it's all thanks to the jet stream, thanks jet stream, river of air high in the sky, steers our storms, acts like a thermostat. There's a dip over us right now as that upper level low swings through. I talked about that in Noyce's notes this morning, and then there's a big bump up, a ridge in the West Coast, and that's been driving the record-breaking heat the heat wave, temperatures running in the 80s and 90s, uh, daily records being broken and potentially some monthly records for the month of March as well. That heat will expand east. So we're talking about highs in the 70s and 80s down through the D.C. area. Will the warmth get here here in New England? It tries to. And that's the problem, right? I talked about the last couple of days. We've got this warmth pushing in. We've got cooler air in New England. That battle zone setting up. And what do you get in between? Precipitation. So that warm front is going to be a key player in our weather for the upcoming weekend. The other big story, heavy rain, big upper level low kind of stalling out over central and southern Texas. We're talking about 6 to 12 inches, maybe as high as 15 inches, and flooding the big concern in central and southern Texas right on through uh, Friday. Otherwise, we've got a cold front. It sparks a rain or snow shower, brief passing that comes on through for our Thursday night. It's offshore by Friday, the exception, northern and eastern Maine. Still some pockets of snow that linger until early afternoon on Friday in those areas. Otherwise, our Friday is pretty quiet. Even for Friday evening plans, this is the map at 615, we're all right, but precipitation is knocking on our doorstep. The blue, the snow, the pink, the wintry mix, the green, the rain, a little bit of everything coming in our direction. And this time of the year for springtime events, it's the nighttime that causes problems, right? Because we're colder, we don't have the stronger sun angle of the daytime. So there will be a burst of wintry weather Friday night into Saturday morning before we can get the rain snow line to lift northward a bit. There'll be everything. Snow, some wintry mix, some plain old rain in southern New England. Friday night into Saturday morning. Does the warm air get in here? It may get into southwest Connecticut. It's going to be wild. 70s could be a thunderstorm in Connecticut on Saturday. And then the rest of us are raw. It's in the 30s and 40s on the cooler side of this front. Does it come through on Sunday? You know what? It actually goes in the opposite direction. It gets pushed and suppressed back down to the south and west Saturday night into Sunday. So we're still on the cooler side. There are still likely going to be areas of light rain and onshore wind, some pockets of sleet, maybe even some snow in far northern New England that continue during the day on Sunday. It eventually is going to come in, but warm fronts are tricky this time of the year. Sometimes they take a little bit of time and then they can eventually push in. And that day, maybe on Monday, where we see the temperatures rise into the 50s and 60s, and then a cold front will come in. So bottom line, there's lots to watch in the days to come and a lot of details to iron out on the weekend. It's a little too early to give exact you know, amounts for rain and snow, but I want to show you something. And this is the temperatures at 6,000 feet. The white line represents zero degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So you notice Friday night into Saturday, cold enough at the mid-levels for, yes, some snow to come in with maybe the exception of the south coast or along and south of the Mass Turnpike. But that line, that freezing line, works northward Friday night into Saturday. And notice where it is pretty much the whole weekend, right over central New England. So you can kind of think of this like rain south of that line, snow north. Obviously, there's some fine-tuning kind of right in the middle. Where is exactly does that set up? But a lot of that will have to do with whether we get some sleet or wintry mix Plain and white and south of that, mainly snow north of that, particularly with elevation. 
So this is an early snow outlook. That is the key, right? So I just want to give you a ballpark, an idea of what to expect. So Thursday night into Friday morning, do you notice there's some gray here and there? There may be some scattered coatings on colder surfaces. Now coming off a day that's above freezing in the 40s and 50s, there should be minimal impact. That said, keep a close eye on the car thermometer Friday morning. There may be some slick spots on untreated surfaces. And in far northern Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, we're talking about a couple of inches that may come down. Whoa, I've taken things through Saturday morning. So Friday night into Saturday morning, the greatest chance of picking up an inch or perhaps two is across northern Massachusetts, perhaps into northern Essex County, uh, Massachusetts, New Hampshire Seacoast, York County, and then much of central New England, even some locally higher totals across Vermont. You expand that out through the day, Saturday night, and into Sunday, and we add some more snow, particularly in northern New England, where there may be as much as six or more inches right along the Canadian border. We've got to fine tune this map. There is going to be some wiggle room. Bottom line, though, just want to be have you be on guard here for a late season possibly event that may need the plows to come out, may need a little bit of shoveling in spots. Again, Friday night into Saturday, and then again, some pockets that will linger around this weekend. And it's kind of a drawn out event. So it's not like we get this stump of snow and it's done that you get rain on top of it, some sleet that may mix back in. So yeah, <laughs> stay tuned to the forecast in the days to come. High temperatures for our Thursday 40s to right around 50. The wind is gonna kick up a bit, 10 to 20 miles per hour. It's breezy tomorrow, making it feel a little bit cooler. This is the problem Thursday night with the snow showers and even raindrops that come in with the temperatures around freezing inland, there may be a slick spot or two. So that's why I say keep a close eye on the car thermometer Friday morning. Melts away, 40s and 50s, a pretty seasonable day overall, actually slightly above average in terms of temperature here. And then here we go on Saturday. I've put the warm front on here. We'll see where it ends up. But it's going to be crazy with temperatures running in the 70s across southwest Connecticut. And then on the other side of the front, we're stuck in the 30s and 40s with areas of rain, likely some mix in central New England and then snow far north. But even with the temperature above freezing, with it lingering during the day on Saturday, it's a stronger sun angle. So any accumulation would likely happen Friday night into Saturday. And then we may add a little bit more as we head into Saturday night. Sunday, oh, raw and cool. Not raining the whole day, but we get a wind off the ocean. Highs in the 30s north to right around 40 in southern New England. So you can pinpoint your exact location in our app and track everything along with us in the days to come. Videos at the top, the 14-day, the hourly interactive radar, and the send to us tab for any pictures you want to send us as well. Our app is free on the App Store and Google Play. We'll see you with more weather tomorrow morning.